So here we are in Salisbury with the Bionic Boxing Barber. Dan, my manager, he's come down from the Midlands again to be with us. We were in Swindon a couple of weeks ago. Now we're here in the mighty Salisbury at the Five Rivers Leisure Centre. Um, Dan, you know, as my manager, I know you've been working in the background to make these sort of things happen. You know, you've come all the way down again. The snow up there, so you've yeah. come away from the snow. No snow in Cornwall. Um, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure, Clint. You know that. We're on something good here, something really special. And uh, I'm glad to be part of it, part of the team. OK, so we've got cards now, and you can click on the card with your phone, and it takes you straight to the YouTube channel, and people can access everything on there, all the, all the shorts, all the videos, all the interviews. You know, what, what vision have you got for this? So with the cards, it's got a QR code on there, and what we want to achieve is that we encourage people to like and subscribe. Mm. We want people to share with you know, their friends, their colleagues, their family, anybody that's interested in what we're doing, you mm. know, because what we're doing is quite special and quite unique. Okay. Um, so in terms of vision and goals, I mean, we really just want to get the message out there as much as possible, be a little bit noisy, a little bit radical, mm. yeah, and just get in the crowd and have, have, a, have a really good time. Yeah. I, I love this. I love people. I love, you know, talking about mental health. I, I want to, you know, really get guys to speak up now about if things are bothering them. And, you know, it starts at grassroots. It starts at boxing, in boxing gyms and around the family of boxing, if you like. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, when we did that event in, in Mevagissi, if you remember, it was yeah. such a success. I think everybody that was involved in that walked away wanting to go again. Yeah. And I think this is just you know, helping us all carry on that journey. Yeah. You know, we're speaking to some great boxers. They've mm. all got great stories. Their yeah. families have got stories. The promoters have got stories. Yeah. The bell ringer's got a story. Everybody's got a good story. Yeah. And it's just really interesting. I think that's what we're doing and we're trying to achieve as a team. We're trying to bring everything together on, under one banner and that's the Barnet Boxing Barber. Everybody can come and talk to us from the ring girl to the uh, referee to people working behind the bar to people working here at the leisure centre. Everybody's got a story and I really believe that needs to be inclusive in an event of boxing. Oh no, absolutely. I mean, typically when you watch boxing on TV, it's all about the boxers, of course. Sure because they're the stars of the show. Mm. But other than that, yeah. you don't really hear about anything else. Yeah. You know, you don't hear behind the scenes. Mm. You don't see the medical, the weigh-ins. Yeah. You don't know the background story. Yeah. And the crowd as well, you know, you've got sponsors. We've got some great sponsors here tonight mm. um, that are supporting the show, future sponsors as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you know, it's gonna be a really good event. Really looking forward to it. So after this, you know, you know as, as well as I do, and, and Peter and, and Heidi and the people behind us helping us push this, we're going to have a chance to meet Anthony Joshua down at the O2 Arena. Uh, Danny McLaren has invited us down there. Uh, we're going to be doing some commentary and interviews with the Night of Champions at the Indigo O2, and then on to the after show for Anthony Joshua. And our aim is to get one of the Barnet Boxing Barber t-shirts with keep punching on we want to get that on his back and that's the challenge that we've set ourselves and i think we'll make it happen yeah you know he's a good guy anthony and uh, you know he's supported events that you've run in the past mm. so i don't think i don't think that'll be a problem mm. and hey if we bump into mike tyson or anybody else that's around yeah. at the time that'll be good also yeah, I mean, everybody's been so kind to us uh, and inviting us to these do's and giving us all access. And when I mean all access, we can go behind the scenes, we can interview the guys in the changing room, we can interview everybody that's, you know, really putting in their work. We've got some guys here with the sound engineers, we've got people working behind the bar, we've got a gentleman here selling memorabilia. We want to be all inclusive at these white collar, unlicensed shows. Absolutely, yeah, I mean... It takes a lot to put a show together, and you know that yourself, uh, having done one yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you need a team of good people behind you yeah. to bring it all together. Yeah. My vision for, for this, unlicensed, white collar, whatever it ends up being called officially, mm. unofficially, whatever, yeah. it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And uh, I'm just glad we're on that bus. No, thanks for being part of the journey. And, you know, having positive people like you behind me, you know, Heidi and Peter other people uh, being very positive and the young promoters coming through I want them to have a voice you know I want this guy to come away I mean you know Mike 26 years old 
you know, he's got, he's got, and we know what it's like putting a show on. He's got the weight of the world on his back until everybody leaves here safely. He's done his job. And, you know, we want him to go away. We don't want him to have a downer after this. We want him to be lifted and think, wow, I achieved this tonight. Look at what I achieved. And we want him to go on to be big and better things because, you know, there's young Eddie Earns out there that need a voice and need a platform and we need to lift them up and get them going. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I can, like I said earlier, I can only see this sort of thing getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. 26 years old, though. Mm. I mean, I know what I was doing when I was 26 year, yeah. years old, and I'm 45 now, and I wasn't arranging boxing events. That's well, sure. I'm surprised you can remember what you were doing when you were 26 <laughs> years old. But, uh, no, we've all had past lives and we've all had journeys. And, you know, I mean, some of these guys that are fighting would have come through the hard way. Mm. They would have had probably, you know, uh, bad upbringing, uh, perhaps been in trouble with the law, uh, drugs, uh, past relationships, but they can lay all that aside, they can put all the demons aside, and they can challenge themselves, get themselves fit and healthy, and fight in a boxing ring. And that's what we're all about. Absolutely, yeah. Like you say, everyone's got a background story. We've got ex-forces, yeah, mental health, yeah. Uh, family people. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, just, it's just a great vibe. Yeah. It's not meatheads coming together to beat the living crap out of each other. No. There's a purpose, there's a meaning to it. Yeah. And there's a good feeling afterwards. I, as well. I think you've just hit it on we the head then. The yeah, absolutely, yeah. because people think that white collar and unlicensed is rough yeah. and it's not matched up properly. Yeah. And, you know, it's absolutely wrong because this does so much good in the community, in the gyms. It gives guys an avenue to challenge themselves. And as you know, I preach boxing and boxing should be inclusive for everybody. And, you know, you know women boxing, uh, young people boxing, older people boxing, 54 years old, I'm fighting this year and I'm up for it, you know, and, and, and I want to, you know, get other guys in the 50s to get up off the settee Get get out of bed, get the self fit, and have a go. Well, I think we saw in Swindon um, for the uh, heavyweight prize fighter Mo. Yeah. He was 50, 53. 53. Yeah. And you know we've seen guys older than that yeah. boxing in the ring. Like, yeah. It's not you know as long as your fitness is up there, and the, and the, and your state of mind is in the right place mm. and focused, mm. you can achieve anything. Mo said to me, he says, I don't want people to say to me, you're an inspiration. He says, I want to be the inspiration for them to actually get up and do something. He doesn't want to hear people saying that. He wants people to start doing something. Uh, you know, what a great guy. And he, he's fighting every week. He's got, he's, got more, he's got more belts than Topshop. You know, the, the, guy, the guy collects them. You can't believe it. But, no, here we are. And it's a fantastic show already. There's people turning up. We're going to meet a lot of the fighters. We've done a little bit of background on the fighters. And, you know, this is another part of our journey. And thanks for being part of it. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a great time. Like and subscribe for more interviews like this. And uh, don't forget the Cornwall Drone Media Company. We couldn't do that. With, we couldn't do this without them. I mean, they're giving up their time uh, to come on this journey with us. So, Peter and Heidi, thank you so much. But uh, all that's left to say is keep punching, like and subscribe, and let's have it.